Hi kiddos, welcome back for our nature studies lesson today. If you remember, we started talking about vertebrate animals. So animals that have a spine, an interior skeletal system, okay, it gives them their shape, not like a jellyfish or an octopus, okay, but an animal with a backbone and a certain thing about it that makes it different than others and the same as others, okay? So we first started talking about an animal that was warm-blooded and laid eggs. And we determined that was birds. And we drew all kinds of birds. You should have a page full of different kinds of birds from all the different biomes, but all the ones that have warm blood and lay eggs are called birds. Now today we're going to talk about another kind of animal that's also warm blooded. Okay, but this kind of animal does not lay eggs. It gives birth to a live baby. So maybe you have a horse at your house that's a mammal. When it gives birth, a baby horse doesn't hatch out of an egg, it just comes out of its mom alive. Or maybe you have a cat at your house, okay? Same thing with cats or mice, okay? Even whales in the ocean. All of these animals have warm blood, but they give birth to live babies. And these animals are called mammals, okay? So we're gonna write mammals, M-A-M-M, a-L-S, mammals, okay? So, then we're gonna write warm-blooded, live birth. No eggs this time, okay? So I did my bird one on the left side, I'm gonna do this one over here. Warm-blooded, live birth. So, when scientists look at animals, they say, oh, does that have Warm blood, yes it does, so I know it's a bird or a mammal. Then they say, where do their babies come from? Eggs or live birth? Oh, if it's live birth, it's a mammal. Okay, so warm blooded, live birth. Now, you can go back through all of our biomes and you are going to have tons of mammals to choose from, okay? So if you think just on the African savanna, zebras, giraffes, lions, okay, mammals, rhinoceros, hippos, those are mammals, okay? If you think back to the rainforest, um, jaguars, mammals, monkeys, mammals, okay? If you think about, let's think of another biome. In the ocean, like I said, whales are mammals, okay? They're not fish, they're mammals. They don't have eggs and they're warm-blooded. So you can have whales in your picture, so you might have to draw some things combined together. You might not have as nice of a background this time. With the birds, we could all put in trees and flying, but you might have to just have a smattering. That means a big group that's all mixed up of your mammals, okay? So I'm gonna start, I love whales, so I'm gonna put a whale down here at the bottom. There's his little tail. Okay, I've got my whale. Maybe you wanna put a little baby whale next to it since big part of this is having a live baby. So maybe I'll get a little baby whale going on here. Okay, a mama and a baby whale. Maybe you wanna do a cat because cats are mammals or a dog, both mammals, okay? They're warm-blooded, they have live babies. And you can put the babies with them as well, okay? We've got a little mama cat and a baby cat. Okay, you can make them striped. You can have tigers, you can have lions, like I said, monkeys, okay? So it has to be warm-blooded and then have live babies, okay? And if you're confused, you can always ask mom or dad, hey, is this a mammal? and they can help you figure that out, okay? Remember, if it lays eggs, it doesn't count. If it's cold-blooded, it doesn't count, all right? Okay, there's your task for today. So fill that page with all the mammals you can think of. I should, well, I can't see it, but I wish I could see a page just full of animals. This is your time to go nuts and draw all the mammal vertebrates that you can and then color them beautifully. Remember that slide's right there in the back of that biome book with the vertebrate classes and then here, we're gonna draw a mammal, so you can draw whichever mammal is your favorite and put it right here on number two. So I'm just gonna put a little puppy right there because a puppy is a mammal, okay? 
and then I'll color them in. There's my mammal, my little dog, that number two. All right, that's it for today. Enjoy drawing your mammals.